Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Today we are diving into some intriguing AI gossip that's hitting the headlines. There is never a dull moment in the AI world, that's for sure. And today we are looking at a surprising shakeup at Meta's fundamental AI research lab, better known as FAIR. Alright, kick back and grab your favorite drink because this story is quite juicy. Recently, the head of Meta Fair Lab, Joel Pinot, stepped down. Now, when a top researcher in AI leaves this abruptly, everyone starts asking, okay, wait, what's actually going on here? It's not just this person stepping down that got everyone talking. Her decision to leave came mere days before Meta rolled out the newest version of its very popular AI model, the Llama 4. And we have covered that in detail on the channel, not only from the technical side, as you can see, we have installed it, we have fine tuned it, we have used it in various tools, we have checked out all the versions and flavors, and we already have covered why Meta seems to be in a sort of panic in a very rational way. Now, launching new models typically gives a company a moment in the spotlight, but Meta didn't get quite the positive buzz they hoped for. A lot of researchers came out strong, criticizing Meta for seemingly rushing out the release without enough transparency. Some even went so far as accusing them of hyping up results, exaggerating performance, and basically trying to shortcut their way through a very competitive market. All this drama fits into an even bigger picture. Recently, FAIR, the lab Pinot led, is said to be slowly dying at least as you can see in this Fortune's article and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Meta, of course, was quick to de deny these rumors. In fact, Yan Li, uh, Yan Li Kun, FAIR's founder and one of the godfathers of the deep learning himself, called it a new beginning. According to him, FAIR will now focus on something he calls Advanced Machine Intelligence or AMI. And guys, this is interesting. It's basically Likun's alternative to AGI, the so-called Artificial General Intelligence. Likun has always been a skeptic about the current methods relying heavily on large language models. He thinks we need fundamentally new ideas if we are ever going to reach truly intelligent machines. And it's hard to disagree with that. So going back to that fair is dying claim, as you can see here, what exactly does that mean? Well, insiders say that the, as per this article and various other social media outlets, by the way, that the pure academic style open-ended research fair worked on, the blue sky research, as they call it, is getting less support at Meta. Instead, Zuckerberg is funneling billions into a more product-oriented AI division heavily leaning on generative AI tools. Yep, we are talking about these tools pretty much like ChatGPT here. Now, some in the community reacted strongly to this story. Uh, for example, um, I was talking to one researcher who summed the whole thing really well. He said that um, and clarified that something very, very important. It's not Meta's generative AI division that's fading. No way. Actually, it's thriving and getting all the love from Meta leadership. The group losing ground, what's truly shrinking is the less immediately profitable blue sky area of the AI research. That means the focus at Meta today is scarily on generating real products, particularly around generative AI like Llama and exploring XR technology for Zuckerberg's beloved Metaverse concept. Even if you go to the homepage of Meta.com, you will see all of this stuff. You can imagine how frustrating this must be for researchers. Some who have left Meta for greener pastures, startups, universities, competing tech giants are quite openly bummed about seeing fair sidelined. It used to be this place where curious AI researchers could freely explore, experiment and innovate without a neatly packaged product always waiting at the end. Now it feels like that open academic spirit is drifting away in favor of clear revenue generating projects which is a bit sad too. And don't get me wrong, Meta Fair has done its fair share of weightlifting and they have done well over more than a decade. But the thing is that some people, even ex-fair researchers, kind of saw this coming. 
William Falcon, former researcher and CEO of Lightning AI, admitted that the honeymoon period of having endless compute and funding without real deadline was great but also kind of unsustainable. Another veteran engineer bluntly said he thinks that this shift toward product-focused research makes sense. He believes companies wanting true foundational research should just fund universities outright. As he put it, internal labs at companies like Meta should work closely with product teams to deliver tangible innovations rather than conducting open-ended research purely for knowledge sake. Which honestly makes sense from a business perspective, though it's certainly less romantic. Now, Jan Likan claims FAIR is simply refocusing its mission towards ambition, ultra-long-term goals, research that might one day lead to machines that truly understand the world around them and think more like humans do. He is placing a bet on original ideas, deeper understandings and creative new pathways to AI, which also sort of makes sense. But here is a key question. Is Meta really committed to backing such visionary long-time research or are they just giving up lip service to it while quietly downsizing that part of the operation? The fact that FAIR has reportedly seen a massive brain drain with researchers fleeing to Mistral, Apple and other centers of innovations is pretty telling. If Meta truly believed FAIR was on the edge of breaking new ground, would they really risk letting top talent walk out the door? Still, some people are optimistic even in Meta FAIR. AI research tends to be cyclical. Right now, generative AI needs to yield quick marketable products, making a lot of money and getting loads of attention, pushing longer term projects onto the back burner. But as the cycle swings back around, perhaps fair or something like that could rise again to drive foundational innovations that will shape our future and I am quite optimistic there. To sum up, is fair really fading away? The signs are not looking great for the old school approach we know. But whether this means the end or just a rebranding to match the current industry trend, that's still up in the air. One thing's clear, product driven generative AI is shipping the next several years and labs like Fair that dream about big abstract breakthroughs are going to have to fight hard to justify their budgets. The AI world is accelerating rapidly and in this fierce AI arms race, companies are leaning hard into whatever brings them success faster and that is just general uh, economics I would say. Well everyone, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more podcasts and also let me know what you think about this new series of podcasts podcast which i have been doing for the last couple of weeks very very keen to hear your thoughts on it before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation if you like the content please consider subscribing thank you